the last project I just put out was called Reptable. And the reason why I like it so much and I feel like it's my favorite project because it was like a group effort. We sat in the room, and there was different people uh, 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 writing hooks and shit like that and picking the beats and all that. And it, the way it just meshed together, man, it, it, it's a real dope. I think it's one of my best works right now. So is that is that like when you had a really large a larger team than you've had in the past? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because usually I'm for the most part it's just me and the guy making the beats. This time it's like, oh man, oh yeah, he gonna do the hook, you gonna do this, and then you gonna say this, you gonna take it home, come bring it back, and then my boy uh, our city Jimmy, no can he put that together through the, through the label he fucking with the Hellfire Club. Um, it's, it's on all it's on all digital platforms right now. Reputable, Mr. C R. It was through, I guess the label was called Hellfire. Dude, I guess they do Empire Distribution, I believe. And how many tracks is it? Um, seven. It's an EP. It's bangers. The whole thing bang. The whole thing. I got money on it. The whole thing. <laughs> it's something for everybody on it. And they all sound good. And I'm not just running my mouth about it. I'm telling you, it's a, you got to check that shit out. I swear to God. Or to the universe or whatever you believe in. It's a good, it's a real good project. All your features, local local cats from LA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yep, yep. Yeah, um, I, I got uh, um, All City Jimmy, uh, he, he, he the one put the project together. There's a chick named Orkin on there, and there's a, there's a guy from Oakland named um, Brent for President. Dope guy, man. He sang the hood. Real dope artist, man. Real dope guy, man. It's a dope project, man. These are like, these are like some youngsters. <laughs> They're like, man, you need to get all that old shit out of here, man. This is what we going to do. <laughs> I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's do it. Okay. I guarantee you, the people watching this shit, they going down there, and they be like, oh, he ain't lying. He jumping in the comments. That shit garbage. That you just hating, bro. I swear to God. So it's uh, seven Shit. seven tracks. Seven tracks. Okay, let me ask you this: uh, the the length of a lot of these tracks are just two minutes and some seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually a song is like over the, three or sometimes yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. But you know, why are they the, so short? Well, you know that's the new era shit, man. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't you know, you, you know, people with attention span as short as a motherfucker go for too long. They be like, man, ask it. All right, so so um, no veneers. Yeah, that's the guy with my boy um, Brent for president. He from um, Oakland. Dope song. It's like an old school West Coast type of thing. Boom, 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 boom. Like it's just that shit hard. <laughs> that's one of my favorites on the project. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh, me personally. Yeah. All right. So, so the name of this uh, project is called Reputable, mm -hmm. and Reputable is like one of those LA terms. Yeah. You, you don't really hear people in, in other cities calling their OGs Reputable. So, for those who don't understand or don't know, who might be listening to Mr. Cr from another state or another country. Explain to them what the term reputable means to you. Well, I'm gonna look up the definition of shit. <laughs> it's it reputable. It, right here in addition to say having a good reputation. <laughs> you know what I mean? A solid cat. Yeah, you know? but but give but, a but I got some haters out there too that that'll probably murder mouth me behind my back and, and say that, but then they're, they're not gonna say that to me face to face. But you know, I have a you know, good, good reputation. You listen to the music, you like, oh, okay, he wasn't lying. The shit is actually good. You know, you meet me in person, oh, he really is a cool dude. You know what I mean? He's not out here on no bush, a reputable person with a good reputation, yeah. so to speak. And that really comes from the black community. Uh, mm -hmm. Latinos don't call their, their G's reputable. They like Vettinano. That's yeah. Vettinano. <laughs> on. Hefe, well, El Hefe. Yeah. Revolutionary. Yeah, that's a song called, uh, uh, um, that's a song that youngsters like. Why is that? But you know, it's, it's basically it's, uh, the way it sounds, you know, the type of beat it is more like that, that new type of style than the stuff I'm actually talking about. Basically, I'm just talking about life experience and trying to, you know, put people up on game as far as what I've been through and where I'm at now. You know, I mean, the mistakes I made back then and the choices I made to put myself in the position I am now. It's basically what that song is all about. Okay, and you got two songs here with uh, All City Jimmy that you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, Good Heart and hard-headed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the good heart is basically uh, is a song basically explaining my my split from the gang situation. Oh, is that right? It's a good song. People like that shit, too. You, you went in on it, huh? Yeah, and it's a lot of people. I ain't going, I didn't smut nobody's name. I just explained my side of the story. And it's a lot of people that, that the way I uh, uh, um, did it on a good heart, people hit me up, like, yeah, there was a lot of people that felt the same way. Like, you touched me with this one type shit. And I, I wasn't a slander campaign or nothing. I just explained my side of the, the situation as far as my split from the gang. And, and why did you feel like you wanted to put that into a, into a song? Because these dudes was murder mouth for me to cover. They, they bullshit us. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not going to let y'all just, you ain't going to do me like that. Let me explain my side of the story on any place. Y'all not going to just do me like that, lie on me and all this sort of stuff just to cover up y'all snake 
uh, 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 hidden motives and secret agendas. You see what I'm saying? They trying to make a, they trying to put money on my name. You know what I mean? I'm like, nah, bro. This is what really happened. Type shit. Okay. And then the other one, hard headed with all. And 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 why did you, why did you have a feature for that song when it was really personal to you? Oh the, well, he sang the hood. Okay. This oh, okay. is how you would pay me. Like you know, he <laughs> it's a real good song. And then hard headed. Hard headed is just basically um like on some old. Don't you tell me what to do. It's like I was telling you earlier, when um, my, my, my pop sister was telling me, man, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do, don't stick your hand in that tank or them fish gonna bite you. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna stick my hand in the tank anyway. And I got bit and I learned like that. So that's kind of basically where that song is going. And uh, I think we all know what roll up means. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Roll up. But I mean, I don't, uh, but see, it, it, the term is just, you know, I don't smoke weed. So the song is just a metaphor, you know, roll, roll it up, yeah, yeah, roll it up. I know you talked about having a team mm -hmm. that was behind, reputable. Yeah. Um, but what is it about just the songs, the mm -hmm. collection of songs, these seven tracks that make you feel like, wow, this is the best I've ever done? Okay, yeah, because so coming into it, I was kind of skeptical, but I'm like, man, looking around, looking at these, I'm like, man, this some bullshit. But then, not like that, but then, but then, but then, when, uh, um, cause they picked, a lot of them picked the beat selection and the topics, and some of them wrote the hooks, and I had to read, say the shit, but I'm like, well, I didn't drop, did everything else, let me, you know what I mean? But the group effort thing, the way the, uh, uh, um, when I heard the finished product, I'm like, oh, I see what different minds coming together, that's a classic album. And then now I'm like, now I'm like, I'm a guy get out of I'm like, I want to do that again. You know what I mean? I work with other people coming together to make that. That shit just, it just, it, I, I get it. And it's teamwork really do make the dream work. Now, were you able to use use um, hash beats on this one as, as well? No, no, no. On this one, they they, they pretty much pick, picked all the um, production and all that. I just, you know, we they pretty much. So how'd you feel? How, how did you feel about the beats? Because they was cool. They was cool. They was cool. Yeah, okay. They was cool. They was cool. Some of them I was like, ah, I don't know, but I try. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you when you experiment and you try something, it actually turns out better than what it did. It's just like when you, uh, I don't feel like going to the gym today, but then you go anyway. You might have had the best workout you had in weeks. It was kind of like that. I'm not really too sure about this beat. I know it ain't garbage, but let me just try it anyway. Then when I seen the finished product, I was like, oh, now I see what they saw. But sometimes you gotta take yourself outside your comfort zone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And sometimes good results come from that. And that reptable ships. Yeah, but I still fuck with Hash too. We about to drop another one soon. Project. And and how long did it take to put this together? About a, two weeks. Two weeks? We was over there at Denver every every week, knocking maybe like knocking out uh we record maybe like it's seven songs, probably knocked out uh, um, all of the whole thing in like two sessions. So you wrote all these songs within a two week period too? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Man, ain't anybody out here playing, man? <laughs> hey, take this shit serious out here. Shit, my, 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 my boy with me, he, he, he get down too. I mean, we, shit, man, we ain't playing with this rap shit, man. But all the beats were already done, though. Yeah, all the beats were already done. Yeah. But then, you know, they came with the, the uh, concept, the hook, and everything like that. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.